Well, that was fun. Yeah, so, uh, I got back from the uh, Elkhart Hall of Heroes Comic Con, and yeah, it was pretty awesome. Uh, this is going to be quite a large series of videos because I took a lot of video. The cosplay contest alone is like an hour's worth of footage, so that's going to be fun to sort through. But I figured I'd start this off the same way I did last year and show you all some of what I got. I guess maybe I should explain this first. This is just from a... My sister who's participated in a cosplay contest that involved using various scraps and things to make a costume. There's more to it than that, but I wasn't actually there for it. Anyway, one of their teammates made a cardboard sword. It was all flimsy, so I took a PVC pipe, put it in there, and then used this piece of an old pop gun that broke way too long ago as a, um, as a handle. Nothing too fancy, but hey, it makes a good prop. As I did last year, I bought some stuff. Starting with the least interesting thing, I've been needing a new set of gaming dice, so I bought these. 50 cents a die comes out to $3.50 for all seven. Uh, I was pretty happy with it, and hopefully I'll find a place to join in my D&D games at some point. I have no clue if I'm centered on this or not. I'm sure future me will be happy that I'm not the center of the picture, and that is right in my face. Also, for my, what I like to call my nostalgia sh shelf, bleh, nostalgia cell, bleh, can't speak right, nostalgia shelf, I bought some toys. Uh, let's start once again with the least interesting. This little tiny diecast G.I. Joe tank. I didn't actually know this existed, but I think this is probably the best piece of a G.I. Joe it's probably the best G.I. Joe thing I could have gotten to represent it on my shelf, outside of maybe, like, I don't know, a Snake Eyes or a Duke figure, but... I don't know, G.I. Joe was never that big for me as a kid, I just enjoyed it growing up. Now, if you wanted something I did enjoy a lot as a kid, uh... He-Man. This is just a basic He-Man figure, he doesn't have any of his weapons, his armor, or anything. It's basically a caveman. But, you know, represents the He-Man series on my shelf quite nicely, so... That'll, that, that works. Also, this Darth Vader figure. Extremely limited articulation. Like, I don't think this is a Kenner toy, but it has about the same level of articulation you'd have in a Kenner figure. Kenner have posable waists? I don't think Kenner had posable waists. So anyway, yeah, it's not a very articulated figure, but hey, it's Darth Vader. I didn't have one for my shelf, so I got one now. And I was definitely a big fan of Star Wars as a kid. Now let's get into some movies that... Well, not good, I actually loved a lot as a kid. Uh, so this is... This is the monster from the 1998 American Godzilla film. Most people refer to him as Zilla. And that was actually one of the first giant monster movies I saw as a kid. And even now as an adult, I love it. And it is also irreversibly connected Taco Bell and Godzilla for me, because of the commercials. Hey, Godzilla! Want something to drink? Yeah, that commercial. Anyway, it's it's just it's not even a bad monster movie. It's perfectly acceptable. It's good. It's a good popcorn flick. But I I do really have a soft spot for the monster, and I wasn't expecting to find merchandise of the little iguana dude. But I did, and he's now on the shelf next to my bigger Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroya, which is actually one of my favorite Godzilla films. Also, on the subject of terrible movies that I enjoy way too much, we have a Ninja Turtle figure from Ninja Turtles 3. It's Raphael in the samurai armor. Uh, Ninja Turtles 3 is a terrible movie. I will not argue that. But I like it. A lot. And if nothing else, it did give us Tarzan Boy. Oh, don't you lie, you love that song. And finally, the big boy. The big boy, right here. Robert Stack as Ultra Magnus. Yeah, it's it's not a it's not in the best condition. This this arm right here is probably the biggest problem because it don't clip into place like the other one does. But he he's mostly just sitting on his shelf and it doesn't really affect the play value or anything. But yeah, Ultraman, I always thought this was like one of the coolest Transformer toys going on to see because it's, it's, it's a, it, it, it's, 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 
It's a small robot inside a big robot. And I love robots, so... Yeah. As you can see here, the smaller robot inside is a recolor of the original Optimus Prime toy. Which is already a cool toy to have anyway. I mean, I really think any Transformer collector should have at least one Optimus Prime toy. And until recently I did not, but you know, recolored Ultra Magnus? I'll take that. Uh, it's really cool actually. I like this. This is the less detailed variant of the Ultra Magnus figure. And yeah, he transforms into the into the cab, which I will do right now. See? He's probably played with Transformers a lot over the years. Similarly, his uh giant body also transforms into his trailer, which I will do for you now. There we go. Put that together. And then you remove the panel here, the belt, stick it on the other side, and then it doesn't like, it's not, it doesn't like, like, go into play, it just kind of hangs off there, but it works, and it's really cool. You got some kibble left over, though, from the transformation, like the, uh, chest plate piece, which just kind of pops into place on the armor, and the helmet. There's really nowhere to put those. This also did not come with the extra missile launchers, and the tiny robot's hands are missing. Right here where the where the lights would be on the real truck. That's where the hands would go on the original toy, and those aren't there either. I guess I might be able to find them on eBay at some point, but I'm not too interested in that. It's, it's a display piece for the most part, although I will not be above putting it... Like, I won't be above taking it off the shelf and playing with it occasionally, because I am a giant child. Anyway, that pretty much sums up all the stuff I bought as far as toys went. And I can't really think of anything else I want to add to the toy shelf from my childhood. I've got pretty much everything I could think of wanting. And, yeah, honestly, I think I can close the book on that unless I, you know, until I actually have a job where I can have money to spend on stupid things. But for right now, I am content. Now, obviously, I didn't just buy, uh some toys, because really, why would you go to a Comic-Con and not get some posters? Uh, let's start with this. I went to the Comic-Con with two posters in mind that I wanted to find. One was the 1979 Alien poster with the egg on it, because Alien is actually one of my favorite films of all time, and I love that original poster. There's a whole story there about it, but I guess we'll save that story for if slash when I actually get that poster. But the other poster I went to find was this, The Lost Boys. Uh, this film actually is like one of my favorites. I would say it's actually like it's it's a it, it's a it's a, it's an influential film to me as far as my childhood's concerned. It was the first R-rated film I ever watched. The first R-rated film I ever watched, followed by Army of Darkness, which was also fantastic. I was 12 at the time. I probably shouldn't have been watching these films, but whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, fantastic movie. I would even say that it's like one of the five movies that was influential to me as a child to who I am now. That seems like it'd be a great video idea, actually. I should do that. Anyway, uh, I'll just put this here. Uh, from last year, you guys might remember that I got this. This is constantly hanging on the wall, showing that I am, in fact, I, I, that I like sort of online. Yeah, it's terrible, but we've already established that I have no good taste. Anyway, that was drawn by a talented artist who goes by the name of Penguin Attack Studios, and I'm sure I'll put the credentials on screen in the description, and I highly encourage you to go check her art out. But once again, I stopped by her booth this year, and uh, I got two prints. Now, it was a two for fifteen dollars I believe and I had no problem supporting her art because I love it this the, the, the first one I picked out was this Majora's Mask I didn't play Majora's Mask until the 3DS remake which is somewhere over here on my shelf let me see if I see it and grab it really quickly yep right here and that was really fun I still haven't beaten it yet the water the water section is a pain in the ass but I am working through it and I actually really like it so yeah 
The second thing was something one of my sisters, who goes by the name Destiny Lord of Freaks on DeviantArt, she's really talented, I'm sure I'll mention her several more times, uh, pointed out another one of my... She could say, I don't know, I don't like to use the term, but... I like it. Shit, man, man, anime crushes, why do I crush them? Why do any of us crush on fictional characters? They're not real. It just makes us realize how sad and lonely we are. Yeah, well, yeah, Yang from Ruby. Gosh, it's a pretty picture. Anyway, so yeah, those will all be hanging on my wall from now on, and those empty spots you see over there, I actually took them down to show in this video. They'll be back up pretty soon here. But yeah, as you can see, we're actually decked out for October around here, except this decoration will probably stay up all year round because that's just how I roll. Freaking adorable. Anyway, I guess now we should move on to the actual vlog part of Comic-Con. So, see y'all on the flip side. Also, I was using a terrible phone with a horrible camera and a terrible microphone and horrible video quality and horrible audio quality, and I'm sorry I don't have anything better, alright? We just got here and they're playing Voltron on the screen out here. This is already amazing. Hey everyone, we're here at the Learner for the next, for uh, the 2018 Comic-Con. Uh, I've been here for a little bit, and ignore the crappy quality because the camera I'm using this here is terrible. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Everybody, day two of Comic Con. I'm dressed up like a snazzy dude. And we're gonna wander around, we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna take a lot more pictures this time because I'm not actually in a real costume. It's just snazzy arcade dude. Whatever. Let's go. 